by the fire they are making from their own bodies, from from their own bodies. Tabat. Tabat. immediately, Mahindra. Mahindra, by the tricks of Indra, by the, tricks of Indra. the king of heaven, Rita Chita Sa, their consciousness, having been taken away, Mahat, a great personality, Yatikra Mahataha, defeated by the fault of insulting, Basmasat, turned to ashes. Abhavan became, became Shanat immediately. immediately. Translation by Srila Prabhupada. By the influence of Indra, the king of heaven, the sons of Sagara had lost their intelligence and disrespected great personality. Consequently, fire emanated from their own bodies <coughs> and they were immediately burned to ashes. By Srila Prabhupada. The material body is a combination of earth, water, fire, air, and ether. There is already fire within the body, and our practical experience is that the heat of this fire sometimes increases and sometimes decreases. The fire within the bodies of the sons of Sagara Maharaj became so hotter then all of them burned to ashes. The fire increased heat was due to their misbehavior toward a great personality. Such misbehavior is called Mahad Vyakti Kram. They were killed by the fire of their own bodies because of insulting a great personality. By the influence of Indra, the king of heaven, the sons of Sagara had lost their intelligence and disrespected the great personality. Consequently, fire emanated from their own bodies and they were immediately burned to ashes. Mukam karoti va chalam angurlanga yathe girim yakripatham aham bande shri gurum dinutarinam paramananda madhavam sri chaitanam ishvaram is this broadcasted? Yeah, it's recording, but we will. Uh, okay, it will be, okay. But just to know. Um, so, thank you for being here. Um, so, <laughs> the sons of Sagara. Um, uh, they were actually the sons of, uh, not of Sagara, they are descendants of Sagara. Uh, the sons of Sagara, yeah, but I think it's what well, well, uh, it's a detail. They lost their intelligence. Uh, it is said, Pisachi Pai de Yena, Mata Chamna Hoi, Maya Grasta Jiva Hoi, Maya Grasta Jiva Hoi, Ebawa Udoi, Sebawa Udoi. To be uh, conditioned by material nature is just like being hunted by a ghost. Maya Grasta, Jiva Hoi, Sebaba, Huda. One's cognitive faculty is distorted. You can't see things properly, you can't perceive things properly. It's just like someone else is using you and taking your perception, taking your understanding of things to a different platform. And it's different uh, than what we, you would be. And it's very difficult to detect it. Because the trick is that it makes you think it's you. That's the old trick. Oh, I feel like this. Oh, I think like this. Oh, I want this. Uh, then, les jeux sont faits. <laughs> Once, you know, that happens, les jeux sont faits. You know, 
he can't do anything anymore because you think it's you. Very expertly done, like a witch or a or hypnotizer or a, someone that can really uh, make you identify with what you're about. So these sons of Sagara, they, uh, uh, they made a mistake. Now, it could be said that, you know, they were influenced, whatever. Uh, you can't claim it's someone else's fault if you insult a great personality. Mariyadavdiyatikram, or Mahadiyatikram, say. Uh, you can't claim it's someone else's fault. Oh, it wasn't me. It was the environment that caused me to do it. Uh, it was my father and mother, they didn't take care of me properly, so I insulted, or whatever it is. You can't say anything like this. When you insult a great personality, you are at fault. And the fact that it happened, it's significant, it is indicative of uh, your uh, lack of Krishna consciousness. It doesn't happen unless it's a, you know, very clearly stated, explained, and described lila. Unless it's something like this, then uh, a properly situated soul does not, will not insult great personalities. The sadhu ninda will not take place. And the result of this is... Uh, destruction. Now, here, they, just like when you eat something a little hot, you know, oh, Mataji is a little too spicy today, you know, you, know, you put a little bit too much chili, you know, uh, and then, you, you know, burn, you burn up, you say, how much chili did you put today? So, uh, uh, Lanka, as they say in, in Bengali, you know, Kubezi <laughs> Lanka, too much chili, you know, uh, and then they burned with their own fire. Prabhupada says here, you know, there are different constituents of the body. One of them is the fire, the fire of digestion, uh, the fire that gives us temperature. You know, we have, you know, the body is between 35 and 37 something. You know, it should be you know, normal temperature. That means there is some fire inside. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be warm. Now, in this case, uh, they really got a high fever uh, because of their offense. And uh, therefore, one should avoid offending. And to avoid offending is not just that I'm determined not to offend, that I, uh, you know, I will not offend the devotees, I will be a good boy, I will be, you know, a good, you know, I will be a properly, etc. No, you have to be very careful, just like driving, you know. You are set not to have an accident. I will not have an accident. I want to, you know, I want to, uh, I'll follow the rules, I'll follow, etc. Uh, cross lights, whatever it is. But you have to be what? Very careful, attentive. You have to be conscious. Because if you do things as a, just as a matter of duty, or we could say by inertial push, you know, by inertial push, okay, I'll do my sadhana by inertial push. Then, you are not taking into consideration one element. It's not that Maya or even Kali is going to say, oh, he wants to be a sadhaka. Oh, I won't disturb him. You know, I won't, you know, I won't try to, you know, do anything to him. Oh, poor boy, poor girl. They want to be devotees. Oh, but who, why should I disturb them? You know, it doesn't work like that. The moment you become a devotee, and you stop speaking also, <laughs> uh, it, you declare war to the illusory energy. That's what Prabhupada said. 
So when you declare war to the illusory energy, the illusory energy will backfire, will fire at you. So it's not that I want to drive my car and be a good driver, a good citizen. No. There should be some, there, there is some guy in Los Angeles, the cops, you know, the bloody Sunday runner, you know. You, you may think that somebody like that comes out from left field. You have to take that into consideration. It's not that everyone is going to be like a good uh, probobiru, you know, good citizen, you know, that's going to drive, you know, according to like the good father, you know, of, of the family, you know. There's going to be the Elsa Angels with the skulls in the thing, or there's going to be someone who has snuffed some cocaine, or, and, and, and he goes with his eyes that, you know, wide open and he drives like mad. There will be people like this when you drive. So you have to be extremely alert, extremely attentive, extremely conscious. Otherwise, yes, you may say, but the incident, <laughs> the accident is being caused by this guy, not by me. But still, you know, you mess up, you lose your life, you, you, you know, you go and have a big problem. So you have to be aware that this material world is a, a, a minefield. It's a minefield. Samashita ye pada pallava plavam. Padam padam ya. Vipadam natesha. There is a danger at every step. Just like when you drive, you have to think, oh, you know, there must be some strange people driving, you know, in, in, in the wrong way. And even more so, <laughs> we should be aware of the fact that Maya is going to send these crazy drivers towards us. It's going to happen. Because where we are driving to, what is our destination? The lotus feet of Krishna. This is our destination. We are driving there. We are going there. We want to get there. And we want to get there as soon as possible. So, uh, some obstacles have to be put in front of us. We have to, otherwise, there is another thing. If obstacles are not there, we tend to put the automatic pilot, you know. You know some how many accidents have happened because airplane pilots, they put the automatic pilot and they go, some of them had parties with the hostess, <laughs> really, you know, they put it the money, you know, it's go, you know, it's all, you know, it's okay, no, no big deal, weather is clear, let's go, and they have, you know, something in the back, you know, whatever, with the, with the, uh, with the hostess, you know, it's just, you know, it happens, and they do crazy things, you put it, you, ten, you have the tendency to put the automatic pilot to go as a normal way and, and you lose your attentiveness. You, consciousness means attentiveness. You can be Krishna conscious if you are not attentive, if you are not very careful. We have to be very, very, very careful. Because uh, it's another thing. Some different kinds of obstacles are put on our way. Some obstacles are, let's say, little bumps. Okay. Oh, I committed an offense. I, you know, to to this dog in Brindal. Whatever, you know. I kicked it. You know, it may happen. You know that. You know, I get rid of a dog. You know. I did commit an offense to a dog in Vrindavan, I remember, when I was young. But of course, the dog was trying to bite my heel, you know. You know, it's, you know I was going into Banki Bihari Temple, walking in. I think it was 75 or something, I don't remember. And then this dog, poor dog, you know, then I felt compassion, you know. He was so skinny, he, he, he tried to bite my heel, <laughs> but he didn't have any strength, you know. <laughs> He was there, so I just kicked him. I said, hey, get off of it. So, uh, poor dog, you know, I felt bad about it. 
uh, he didn't have the strength to put the teeth in. Yeah? So, um, so that has, you know, I hope, you know, I don't have to be reborn just <laughs> because I kicked the dog uh, when I was young. Uh, so um, that's one kind of thing. But then there are other kinds of obstacles. And like this, Maria de Biatikran, we try to cross over a big personality. We, we try to become better than him, or, you know, what a Guru Maravidya, you know, try to kill the spiritual master with the, the knowledge you receive from him. That's the worst kind of offense. You do something like this, and if you're not careful and inadvertently try to do that because of habit or wrong habit, then you kill yourself spiritually. And these obstacles, you can't just pray. Of course, Ganapati removes the obstacles. Ganesh, you know, is the god of success. You can't just pray, you know. Well, you can pray for removing obstacles in your spiritual life. That Prabhupada said, you can worship Ganesh to remove obstacles in your spiritual life to be successful. Yapada Pallava Jugam Vinidaya Kumba Dwandwe Pranama Samaye Saganati Raja Vignam Vihantu Paramasya Jagatrayasya Govinda Madhu in that sense you can <laughs> but you cannot because he has the lotus feet of Govinda on his uh, tumuli you know, on his uh, tusks you know so you know if you pray for that he uh, he's a devotee but uh, but the thing is if you are not careful and accustomed to stumble on small <coughs> bumps then you know then when the big pump comes then you really fall down Okay, so it's a matter of culture. It's a matter of what kind of culture you establish in the development of your Krishna consciousness. That doesn't mean that you become like, you know, a, a, a paralyzed person. Oh, I have to go and do it. There is an, an ant and I go around. Yes, don't step on the ant if you see it. But don't be like a Jane that goes with the, the mask. You see the Janes? Go with a mask and then with a broom. Where is the insect? Where is the insect? I don't want to step on, you know. From, from upstairs to, to, to the temple, you may take two hours to go down, you know, so many bugs around, you know. And uh, you know, it, it, we don't have to become paralyzed, you know. When we came with the car, you know, we probably killed, uh, I don't know, about a thousand flies. I mean, more or less, you know. And what can, what can we do? We can go, you know, oh, fly! <laughs> Temple! We also killed one of those ducks. We go I didn't see it, frankly, you know. You know I, then I felt bad. For the flies, not so bad. But, but for the, you know, the duck, I felt really bad. Uh, what was it called? Canard Sauvage. Canard Sauvage. That was, that was, you know, and they were there. I, you know, the roads go like this here, you know. So I go, you know, go there, and go there. the canard sauvage, yeah, sauvage, where, you know, where the, the, the number of them, two of them who stayed back, one, you know, I really tried, but if I have to, you know, so, Hare Krishna, anyhow. Uh, so he can, but he can be paralyzed, you know, and he had to do, and he had to depend on Krishna. Certain things, they, the, the world, Prabhupada said, pop and punya. You can't avoid it. You know, pop means sinful acts and punya means pious act. He said you can't avoid it. The, 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 it's, it's packed with this stuff. You know, you can't avoid it. You, you'll do some pop and punya. But you have to be expert, that's Krishna consciousness what's it. You have to be expert in, you know, moving among, in, in this world amongst pop and punya without getting caught, without, you know what I mean? Without, you know, without having an accident. So, these sons of Saga, they weren't careful. That's all. Uh, they weren't careful. Uh, care careful. And therefore, they had to pay a big price. Big price. Um, very big price. So, our culture should be 
culture of Krishna consciousness to be attentiveness. The more I'm conscious, the more I'll be Krishna conscious. That's what Prabhupada said. First be conscious, then be <coughs> Krishna conscious. <laughs> In other words, he can't be just like a, 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 a silly guy, you know. Hare Krishna, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, it's beautiful. Krishna, you know, it's like, you know, flying in the sky, you know. Uh, you know, you have to be conscious. You have to be conscious. Then be Krishna conscious. Otherwise, you may have a bad reaction. You may be very artistically, you could say, and uh, how, do you call, how do you say that in French? Volo pindarico. The guy who put some some, you know, Icaro, you know, he put Icaros, he puts mm -hmm. yeah, so there is a saying, when you, when you're a little bit uh, in the spaced space. out, <laughs> when you space out, you know, and Krishna consciously spaced, how many devotees had accidents, because they were Krishna consciously, so-called Krishna consciously spaced out, spaced out, <laughs> oh, well, I depend on Krishna, you know, boom, you know, it's like, you're not conscious, you know, then you have an accident. So be conscious, then be Krishna conscious. So this alertness, this attentiveness, this maturity is essential in Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, you can't blame, oh, you know, but, you know, I try my best, but then I had this accident, then I offended this personality, then I did this, then I did that, you know. No, you can't claim the, the law of punishment <laughs> will act. Vigilantibus non dormientibus jura supremium, they say, the Latins used to say. Uh, the law helps those who are vigilant, not those who are sleeping. Uh, so, uh, this, I mean, we feel for them, you know. Can you imagine to be there and, oh, I got some burning sensation. <laughs> Whoa, it really burns, it really burns, it really burns, and then they got burned, you know, totally ashes, burned to ashes. So um, let's be careful, and especially let's be careful with the founder Acharya. So many things I hear many times people say, ah, if Prabhupada would have, yeah, I would, he would have done this, oh, he would have done, I know Prabhupada would have done, you know, so just let's be very careful. Let's study his books very carefully, very, very, very carefully. Let's try, and, and if one studies his books very carefully, you know, he, you know, the intelligence will come. You know, some people think, oh, we have to uh, shred these books and separate what is the material uh, considerations or a time, place, and circumstance, uh, just uh, the, 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 and then what comes from Shastra uh, really comes from Shastra. You know, it's just the whole, you know, Prabhupada gave these books. He didn't say, and the first thing you gotta do, you so intelligent and so realized extrapolate what's really from Shastra and whatever else you, you know, just uh, use it whenever it's needed. He never said that. That doesn't mean that when Prabhupada says, what is it, you're some, someone help me, that, uh, I don't know, the, the black hair of the women of Bengal are most beautiful. It's somewhere in Chaitanya Charitamrita, I believe, you know, that old that is as important as, you know, some Siddhanta, you know, on, on, you know, I don't know what, you know, just, you can't take, you know, it's not the same thing, it's not on the same plane. Or when he says, uh, this temple is, is a distance of 3.3 miles, I'm just putting it like this, from, from the bird one station, station of bird one, you know, then one goes like, you know, with the laser, you know, and it's, it's four miles too. Oh, you know, it's, that means it's my limited vision. It must be three miles, three, 
you know, and then you go in the ditch, you know, you follow in, in, the, in, in the canal or whatever it is, you know. <clears throat> you know, you can't be stupid like this. Tadvaj visaga tanataga viplavo. No, the, the verse, you know, Ranada Muni says, you know, even if imperfectly composed, they are appreciated by those who are intelligent. But still, it's not that we have to take Srila Prabhupada's books and make them relative. We have to be very careful because this is Maria Vyatikram. I'm not talking about I'm a BBT trustee, therefore I'm not talking about correcting some mistakes that were made, you know, uh, in, in translation or in you know in editing or whatever. But this it is nothing, has nothing has to do with this. Prabhupada wanted that. But you know, don't take an attitude. I'm the observer of Srila Prabhupada's books, you know. Well, this is, uh, yes, but these are the portion, you know, well, you know, maybe not so relevant, and you know, who are you? You have to serve his instruction. You have to feel utterly incompetent, you know, and serve the Acharya's instruction, the founder Acharya's instructions, the founder Acharya's ecstasy, because he said these are his ecstasies. <coughs> he can't go and shred yeah. them, you know, because that is the most dangerous thing that we can do for the future of ISKCON. There is nothing more dangerous than that, than offense to Prabhupada. There is nothing more dangerous than that. Uh, so, let's be attentive. Uh, alert, careful, and uh, then the ghost of the material nature will not get us. <coughs> Another type of ghost will get. Prabhupada said, being Krishna conscious is like being, hunt, being hunted by a ghost, but a good ghost. <laughs> you know, Nityananda, <laughs> Lord Chaitanya, Sada Ridaya Kandare, Spuratova Sachinanda Nahan, in the cave of the heart then we'll be hunted by the, the twins, <laughs> the, the, the wonderful uh, nectarian ghosts of uh, Gornitai and Krishna Balaram and, and, and Radha Govinda Mother. So uh, we want that. We want that. We, do, we desire that. We don't think we are able uh, independently to become Krishna conscious. To be Krishna conscious means and this is a difficult, is this difficult thing to tolerate in the beginning. One has to be piloted, piloted by, by the Acharyas, piloted by, by Guru Sadhana Shastra. It has to be like this. You can't think that you on your own, oh, I realize, I do, you know. You have to be piloted from within. And since we are accustomed to be independent, so-called independent, you know, to be attached to the other ghost, the ghost of material nature, we makes us think that we are independent. Now, Krishna is honest. It doesn't make you think you're independent. You are fully dependent. And so do the Acharyas. They tell you, you're fully dependent. You can't even think. You can't even have a thought. You can't even be alert or aware that you exist. Sattva Valambi Parasattva Vishuddha Sattva. Unless the, the sustenance of everyone's existence manifests that. So you want, the devotees want to be piloted. They don't think they're going to be exploited by Krishna. And even if Krishna wants to exploit, great. I've just been exploited by the material nature. I didn't exploit myself. Uh, so, uh, so that. If that tolerance, that uh, understanding is there, then one is protected. It's just like the alarm bell rings, oh, you're making an offense, you know. When you are piloted, you know, oh, you're making an offense, oh, you're doing the right, wrong thing, oh, you're misreading this, oh, you are reading this wrongly, you know. So it, will, it will appear within the heart and one will be safe. Thank you so much. Are there any questions or comments? Did I go too long? Uh, yeah. Thank you.
So uh, I can understand that one can be, when one is uh, hunted by the ghost of Maya, one can be confused and not have a clear vision. But when, when one is hunted by Krishna's ghost, <laughs> Uh, because it reminds me of the story of the fisherman who caught Chaitanya Mahaprabhu yeah. and we touched him and uh, he started to sing, you know, Hari Hari and uh, he thought he was hunted by a ghost. So how can one be, uh, you said, uh, yeah, blessed by Krishna consciousness like him and not really see the real picture? Not really see the real picture the real that he is actually became he became Krishna conscious and okay now that fisherman wasn't an <coughs> ordinary fisherman I mean uh, to to fish Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he must have had at least a few values active now I mean he, he was definitely a fortunate rare soul. When he touched Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he started, you know, he was very careful, you know, because he was afraid of ghosts. Do you remember the story? He was afraid of ghosts, so he, he would be, he had this thing on the, on the boat, you know, to, you know, he was afraid. So, he thought he was a ghost. Now, uh, I, would, I, I never fished in my life, but, you know, I would go fishing. <laughs> every day if I could touch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's body. Now, he, he touched the body of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in a special condition. In the previous chapter, he had, his body had become like that of a tortoise, you know? You know? And in that chapter, he had become enlarged, you know? And, you know, he would enlarge his body. Nyakroda Parimandala. You know, he had a special body, you know. And uh, therefore, this man touched the body of Lord Chaitanya yeah. when he was in full ecstasy and, and lost in himself. Uh, we don't have to be afraid that we have this problem. <laughs> I mean, I wish, I, I would go and, and, and dress the needies every day if, if uh, uh, by touching Lord Chaitanya, I would, you know, go in the same state that the fishermen went. Because if I go in that stage, Krishna will protect me. It's not that the fisherman lost the whole picture and he drowned, you know. It's not that he chanted Hare Krishna and then boom, you know, he, he lost himself and he went in the water and he drowned. No, he, he, he was blessed. He, you know, he, were, he was a great devotee, you know. Say, so why a great devotee? Fishers. Okay, you know, my, you know, just, you know, let, leave it alone, you know. That. But uh, one has to be confident that Krishna will protect him in all circumstances. Even if, even if, even if three times, mm -hmm. I would get some ecstasy. Maybe, when, who knows? Krishna will protect me. There is even said, uh, it is even said in Shastra, that when one, one becomes a Jivan Mukta, you know, a liberated soul within the body, the activities of the body are run by the super soul. So, you know, the functions of the senses, you know, it's always run by the super soul. <laughs> but it takes particular care, you know. The soul is, you know, is in excess, like Bilba Mangala Chakrabarti or some, you know, Mukta Purushas, like, you know, when they, you know, they are, they are in the Lila. Externally, the body works. It's not that they were in the Lila. Yes, yeah, some of them get in Samadhi, some of them get stunned, you know. Some of them, the body goes. The body still works. The functions are there. You drink a glass of water, walk whatever it may be. And that's done by the super soul. In other words, the, the soul is not concerned with the external body, but the super soul takes care. So don't worry, you can go in ecstasy uh, as soon as possible. <laughs> and Krishna will take care, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry, oh, the, the, the fisherman, oh, poor guy, you know, what happened to him later on? No. 
Don't worry, Krishna takes care. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam Grantaraj Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Shri Taigur Premanandi. Did I say anything else? Huh? Mr. Teacher? <laughs> You're the teacher. <laughs> yeah, you are quoting the right line. Huh? You are always quoting the right portion of the line. Because I forget the rest, maybe. <laughs> Oh, okay. Go and go, please.